you know, it's that time of year where a lot of folks, they're working on the outside of their homes. Maybe you've got a few shingles missing, a gutter that's down, or maybe you're taking on even a larger project. You're painting the exterior of your home. But what I will tell you is this. There's one exterior maintenance task that's often overlooked. And what it is, is it's tuck pointing. I'm gonna show you how to tuck point, how easy it is. I'm gonna walk you through it. When it comes time to tuck point your own home, guess what? You're gonna be able to do it with confidence. So let's get started. So this is what we're gonna be using here. It's mortar mix, and it's ideal for tuck pointing. It's comprised of Portland cement, sand, and lime. Now we're also gonna be adding a bonder. Apply the bonder to the surface, and it helps with adhesion. Or you can apply the bonder to the mortar mix. Instead of using water, you just use the bonder instead. In our case, we're just going to add a little bonder to the mixture, and what that does is it increases adhesion, but it also helps with the, you know, just the performance of the material. Now, here's the thing: mortar is a lot like grout where you can, well, you can add color to it. Now, if you notice here, we've got red mortar. But if you drop down right below it, you'll notice that the mortar, well, here is brown in color. So obviously, there were repairs made to this brick at different times. And we're not gonna go with the red mortar, we're gonna go with the brown mortar because it's less eye-catching. I think I want the tuck pointing to be a little bit invisible to the eye. And I think the red, well, I think it just stands out a little too much. We're gonna start off with just some clean, cool water. Now it's always good to put a drop cloth down in the area you're working with because, well, you're working with dye and you don't want to stain the surface underneath. So I'm gonna add my dye and you want to add the colorant to the water first. You don't want to add it to a dry mix. Now we'll add our bonder as well. I'm going to incorporate the bonding agent with the water and the dye. Give it a good mix. Now, I want to say this, don't be afraid to wear gloves. And one of the most common mistakes that folks make when they're mixing up mortar mix, they don't allow the mixture to slake. And what that means is rest. Let it rest for 10 minutes before you start to use it. Now this right here, this is our repair area. If you notice, if you notice, there's a lot of loose mortar. So we need to clean that out of there. And so what you can use is you can use whatever tool you feel will do the best job. Next, I like to take a brush and clean the area out really well. And I like to take my mortar mix and I put it on a piece of wood and then I just smooth it out just a little bit. You know, level it off. And now I take this piece of wood that it's sitting on. We take our board and we lift it up to that repair area, that joint that needs to be filled. What you want to do is you want to take your plywood and make it level with the lip of the brick. We take our trowel here and we're just we're just cutting off a slice. That's what we're doing. We're just cutting a slice off. We're gonna push it in there. Slice off a little bit more and pack that joint. Okay, slice off a little bit more, scoot it forward and pack that joint. 
and don't worry about it being pretty. Now we just slide down and move on. And again, just slice off a little bit of that, that mortar mix and push it forward and pack that joint. Again, we're not worried about making it pretty. That comes later. Take your wood so it's level with the lip of the brick and then just push that mortar mix forward and pack that joint. Now it's time to finish our mortar joints here and we use this tool and what it's called is it's called a brick joiner. Now on one end the width is a half inch and then you flip it over here to this end here and you're looking at three eighths inch. We've got about a half inch joint there so we're going to be using the broader end. Now the way you know that it's time to tool it is it's a little firm. It's not dry but it's a little firm and now it's time like I said to dress up that joint make it look real pretty. Now you don't want to worry about this here. Don't worry about that because we're going to clean that up. You just want to make a concave joint there. Now we have these ridges here we have to knock down. Just clean it off the brick like so. Now I'm going to make certain that I place a link in the description below the video to all the tools and materials I used in this video. You can check it out for yourself. This is Leah saying you can do this. See you next time.